What's going on guys? Gray back with another gameplay. And man, I'm actually pretty happy about this because the Q&A stuff I'm putting to the side, I'm going to focus on the game. All right, let, let me tell you what's going on in the background here, all right? So I'm playing with my buddies late at night. We're demolishing every single team that we go up against. We get into this lobby and we, we want to give ourselves a challenge, right? So we decide we're all going to play with pistols, and I choose the MR6, I go akimbo, and, and we're going to run really low streaks, preferably non-lethal. So I put on UAV, counter UAV, guardian. We start playing, things are going okay, the enemy gets a care package, and in this care package, wraps. I mean, <laughs> so we start getting kind of destroyed by him, so I switch over to my dingo class, which I've showed you before in that metro gameplay, and I go on a streak. It's actually my longest streak in the game. I get a nuclear with 10 unstoppable medals. I mean, it, it was just crazy. You know, I never really go into games trying for nuclears. Even though I'll run like a UAV counter UAV hater, I'm really going for score per minute because that, that's kind of how I like to challenge myself is how high of a score can I get. And by the way, currently my record is 10,645 in one game. I'm trying to break 12,000 to be quite honest with you. But anyways, back to the game. So I switch over to my dingo class and I never go back. The, the streak took me, I think, seven minutes through the game. And I, I chop it up as I go so I'm not boring you when I'm running around looking for people. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty exciting game. So let, let me talk to you a little bit about the dingo. Um, and why I consider it probably the most overpowered weapon in hardcore. I know some of you may disagree with me, but if you look at everything that that dingo can do compared to any other weapon, you will see that the dingo is arguably the most OP gun that you can use in the hardcore mode. At least if you're a really good player, okay? If you know, if you have really good map awareness and player tendency recognition, the dingo can absolutely annihilate everyone. Let me tell you my setup real quick. And if I was going to go into a game as a slayer, I probably wouldn't run this setup, at least perk-wise. But so the dingo, I run the BOA3 site. For some reason, I just prefer it. You don't have to do that. You can use the ELO, but I do suggest a site, okay? Just for the ranged fights. And then I run a stock. I put a stock on it for one reason, and it's to increase the sidestep ability to that equal to an assault rifle. And that's what it does. If you had an assault rifle without a stock, it's what a dingo is with a stock. So it increases that side to side movement, which I like. I don't put quick draw on it because I don't feel like I need it. All right. As for the perks in this, I'm running uh, Blind Eye, Cold Blooded, Dead Silence and Awareness. My lethal is a C4. I never throw it out in here. And then the Black Cell is my secondary. Remember, this is my air class. If I was going to set it up as a Slayer class, I'd probably run an MR6 pistol and a Simtex grenade. I'd probably put Fast Hands on instead of Cold Blooded. And then for my perk one, I probably wouldn't even use it. I'd probably put Quick Draw on the Dingo, to be quite honest with you. So why is the dingo so good? Like I said, if you put a stock on it, it increases the sidestep ability to that of an AR. It fires fast. Faster than most of the ARs, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you can check Drifter on that, but it just seems fast. It has 75 bullets in the magazine. I mean, that's twice as much, more than twice as much as any of the assault rifles and SMGs, except for the Weevil, of course. And uh, the ADS on it is fast faster than it should be as an LMG. And then the mobility. I mean, you see me jumping around with, with this thing like, like it's an assault rifle or an SMG. I mean, it's ridiculous. Treyarch needs to do something to these LMGs because you should not be able to move this way, all right? There's little to no recoil and it's great on head glitches. You guys have got to try out this Dingo. I'm telling you, the gun is amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's on Combine, but you know what? You get what you get, right? You hit that thumbs up video. Let me know that you liked it. Leave a comment down below if you've got a question on the setup. And as always, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.